How to Recognize and Treat Anaplasmosis Disease Anaplasma phagocytophilum is an obligate, intracellular bacterial pathogen of animals and humans spread through the bite of an infected tick. As an obligate, intracellular pathogen, anaplasma must invade the cells of its host organism in order to grow and reproduce. In this case, anaplasma invades white blood cells, specifically neutrophils, the body's primary defensive immune cells. It is here that this parasite multiplies and causes disease. But it is not the only place anaplasma can survive. The bacteria can also be found in the gut and salivary glands of infected ticks of the genus Ixodes. Bites from infected Ixodes ticks are the major source of infection for humans, livestock, and pets. These bites are usually painless and allow the tick to inject pain-killing, blood vessel dilating, and anticlotting factors into the host. If the tick is carrying anaplasma, some bacterial cells can slip through as well. These anaplasma invaders are capable of causing a potentially fatal blood-borne infection. Human anaplasmosis is a tick borne disease. The majority of people with anaplasmosis will experience symptoms of the disease. Others may have no symptoms at all or symptoms that are very mild. The following will help you recognize these symptoms and understand how the disease is treated. Most people have heard of Lyme disease, caught through tick bites. But there are many, much more obscure diseases you can get from ticks. In this lesson, we will examine the specifics of one of these diseases, anaplasmosis. Anaplasmosis is the potentially deadly disease caused by infection from Anaplasma phagocytophilum. The symptoms of anaplasmosis are vague, flu-like, and vary greatly from person to person. Some of the more commonly reported symptoms include headache, fever, muscle aches, malaise, and confusion. These symptoms usually show up within two weeks of the tick bite and are often mistaken for a simple case of the flu or a cold. In older patients, people with other diseases, or those with compromised immune function, the infection can be more severe. These patients can develop difficulty breathing, hemorrhaging, and renal failure. About 1% of these cases are fatal. Know the signs and symptoms. These may include Persistent and or severe headache Elevated body temperature Body chills Muscle aches Understand that the symptoms of anaplasmosis are sometimes confused with other diseases, such as influenza. Symptoms are often severe in older people and those who are immunosuppressed. Know that diagnosis of the disease requires confirmation via laboratory tests. Your doctor will take a blood sample to be tested. Be aware that the recommended treatment of anaplasmosis for children and adults. If you suspect you may have anaplasmosis, or any tick borne infection, see your doctor immediately. Diagnosis and Treatment Diagnosing tick borne diseases is difficult in general. Anaplasma is no exception. Many blood tests will be negative for the first 7-10 days, when beginning treatment is most effective. The polymerase chain reaction, PCR, can detect anaplasma DNA in the blood of the host during this early period, but the test is not commonly ordered. As a result, diagnosis is usually based on symptoms combined with a recent tick exposure. If anaplasmosis is suspected, doctors can also examine the blood for the dark spots of dividing bacteria in the neutrophils and check the patient for anemia, thrombocytopenia, and leukopenia. Cause Ehrlichiosis is caused by some types of bacteria called ehrlichia. Anaplasmosis is caused by the bacteria Maniplasma phagocytophilum. Symptoms Symptoms usually begin at least five days after you are bitten by an infected tick and can include Fever Chills Headache Muscle pain Nausea Tiredness You might also have a rash. You might not have symptoms, or your symptoms might be so mild that you hardly notice them. Diagnosis and Treatment If you have been bitten by a tick or have been in a tick-infested area and you have any of the symptoms typical of these infections, even mild ones, you should contact your health care provider. 
your healthcare provider will use this information along with laboratory tests to find out whether you have ehrlichiosis or anaplasmosis or perhaps some other tick-borne infection. If you have ehrlichiosis or anaplasmosis, your healthcare provider will give you an antibiotic such as doxycycline to treat the disease. With treatment, most people fully recover. Prevention To help prevent helichiosis and anaplasmosis, you should avoid walking in areas of tall grass, brush, or anywhere there may be ticks. If you do go into these areas, be sure to do the following. Wear light-colored clothing. Tuck your pants legs into your socks so ticks can't get up inside your pants legs. Wear a long-sleeved shirt and tuck it inside your pants. Spray insecticide containing permethrin on boots and clothing. The effects will last several days. Apply insect repellent containing DEET to your skin. Because DEET lasts only a few hours, you may need to reapply it. Look for ticks on your body, including in your hair, when you return from hiking or walking. Check children and pets for ticks. Generally, a tick needs to be attached to your body for an extended period of time before it can infect you. You should remove it with fine-tipped tweezers. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has more information on how to prevent tick bites and to remove ticks. Complications Elichiosis can become a severe, life-threatening illness, especially if left untreated. It can damage many organ systems especially the lungs and kidneys. Other complications can include seizures and coma. Possible complications of anaplasmosis include sepsis, infection in blood or tissues. Anaplasmosis also can damage organ systems including the lungs, heart, kidneys, and nerves. The disease is noted for being more severe among individuals with compromised immune systems.